This is a problem regarding estimating partial derivatives at a point using contours and a table and then finding the actual um, because we are given the original equation. So our original equation is f of xy equals x squared plus y squared. So part a says we're supposed to estimate f sub x at 2, 1 and f sub y at 2, 1 using the contour diagram for f in the figure below. So this is the contour diagram right here. And we're going to come down here and take a look at how we can estimate them. And then part b says estimate f sub x at 2, 1 and f sub y at 2, 1 from the table of values. So you get these three x values and these three y values and see I've already put the table together. Um, so you take each of these ordered pairs, that ordered pair, then that ordered pair, then that ordered pair, and you plug them into your original function here and you build the table. And then I'm going to use that to estimate partial derivatives. And the last one then is computed exactly using the original formula right here. Okay, so let's start with estimating f sub x at 2, 1 with the um, contours. So part A, f sub x at 2, 1. Well, I know that's actually the change in output z over the change in x. And I just had to figure out how to look at the table for that or the chart. Well, what is this? Contours. So I'm going to go 2. Now there's the origin. Okay, you can see 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So there's the origin. So I need to go to 2, 1. So I'm right there. Now that looks like the z value is about 5. I, I just have to guess that because, again, we're estimating. So my z value is going from 5. And if I move, I'm just going to move a hole here, a whole x value. I go from 5 to, it looks like 9. All right, so this is the contour at 9. This is my contour approximately 5. So my change in z is about 9 minus 5. And then my change in x is going to be 3, which is this outside one, minus 2. So I'm getting my estimate to be 4 over 1, which is 4. Okay? I mean, there's you can't really do that much better. I mean, if I could go from this contour to this contour, but how much of one whole is that? A third? A quarter? I don't know. So I just use the whole. It's not the best way to do it with a whole, but with a contour, it, it works okay. So f sub y at 2, 1, then is the change in z over the change in y. So now I'm moving a whole this direction. So my y values or my z values go from 5 to 8, it looks like. So my change in z is going to be 8 minus 5. And my change in y is going to go from 1 to 2, so that's 1. So I get 3 over 1, which is 3. So that's how I use my contour to estimate. I mean. Again, if, if this is more detailed or if I was willing to risk no, thinking that that's one quarter or this is one third or something to that, I could maybe do it a little more accurate. But I just decided not to and just used one whole. Now, if you go to part B, I've put the table together for you already, which hopefully you can do yourself too. But then if I want to estimate f sub x at 2, 1, I have to go to that position here on the map. And it's this is still, and I always write this down, the change in z over the change in x. So x is the thing that's changing. y stays fixed. So here, I'm going to do a central difference quotient. So this one's in the center. When you use a table, it's probably a way better accurate uh, um, result for your estimate. So this is going to be approximately, let's see, 5.41 minus 4.61 divided by 2.1 minus 1.9. Okay, so I do the change in the output over the change in the input. And if I use my trusty calculator to calculate this, and it is trusty. So 5.41 minus 4.661 divided by 2.1 minus 1.9. Did I do that right? 5.41 minus 4.61, 2.1 minus 4.9. Okay, so I get, oh, 4. Hey, that's cool. That looks like it matches exactly what I estimated here. Huh. All right. That's pretty rare, but it's kind of cool. F sub y at 2, 1 is going to be the change in z over the change in y. 
So now my Y is changing. Notice that this is Y. My Y is changing. My X is staying fixed. So again, I'll do the central difference quotient. So 5.21 minus 4.81, that's a change in Z, divided by uh, 1.1 minus 0 0.9. And let's see what that gives me. This should be an approximation right here. Let's see what that gives me with my trusty calculator. All right, so let's see. 5.21 minus 4.81. Divided by 1.1 minus 0.9. Did I do that right? 5.21, 4.81, 1.1, OK. And I get 2. Hmm. Now that's not as good of an estimate as I got with the other one. So here I have a 2, and this one I got 3. Um, these numbers are pretty close together here, so I'm guessing this one's going to be more accurate. Yeah. So the last part says now do the exact values. So that means that I have to have f sub x at xy, then f sub y at xy, and then I plug in the order pair to 1. So my original f sub x was given, or my original f, sub, f of xy was given as x squared plus y squared. So if I want to do f sub x, uh, I treat y as a constant, so that's going to give me 2x. For f sub y, I treat x as a constant, so that's going to give me 2y. If I want to do then the derivative at a point, I just plug into 1, which gives me 4. And here I plug into 1, and that gives me 2. So it looks like the table was really accurate. I got the exact same values. But for the contour, I got 3 in this case. So that was off a little bit. I mean, I could have been a slightly more exact, but um, it turned out OK. It, Estimates are hard and they're different. So you just do your best with what you have.